Live from the Gorge Amphitheatre, this is Group Therapy 250.
gotta say, every year we do this ABGT thing, I think how could we possibly top it? I was at Ziggo Dome thinking like, you couldn't get any better than that, and then just to do that out there. Yeah. Under those stars and everything, 25,000 people. I'm left speechless. <laughs> yeah, those sort of two hours f flew by, by actually, and uh, the energy out there was amazing, I thought. Uh, being outdoors as well sort of helps survive, I think. Plenty of excellent contributions from our Andrew and family as well. Love the new Andrew Bear and Alison and May record there, Signs of the Fall. That one is yep. out this Friday. Uh, music also in there from Ilan Bluestone, Scars album, as well as Another Lover. I think that's going to be huge. Fatum, Tim Mason and Gabriel and Dresden also contributed. Feels like a bit of a turning point for Anjuna Beats. Loads of new stuff, new direction. Uh, really excited about it. Yeah, I, I really love the Gabriel and Dresden record. I had it on repeat in my car when I was in LA earlier this summer. Uh, and I can't wait for you all to hear it. It's a fabulous album. And speaking of albums, there's something new from us on the way as well. We're delighted to announce that Common Ground, the fourth studio album from Above and Beyond, will be released in early 2018, featuring vocal contributions from the beautiful Zoe Johnston and Justine Sweeser, Tightrope's Marty Longstaff, and as debut tonight, our old friend Richard Bedford. Yeah, I think we're all a bit, well, we are all really nervous about um, playing some of those those new, new tracks we've been working on, but it seems like they went down pretty well. We'll, we'll see. Um, and with that new album comes a new worldwide tour, of course. We'll be announcing the first phase of dates in a couple of weeks' time. But things kick off with three rather large celebrations in London, LA and New York. I think we'll be playing a lot of the songs you heard tonight at our sold out O2 Arena show in London in November. Going to be a huge homecoming event, I think, and hello to everybody at home who stayed up all night to watch this show. We're back to the west coast of the States and on the 29th of December we're heading to the LA Convention Center for what's going to be our largest California show to date, apparently. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's then back to, uh, across the pond to Brooklyn on the uh, 27th of January as we find some common ground at the Barclays Center. If you'd like to join us for the biggest shows ever in LA and New York, then head over to aboveandbeyond.nu now where you can uh, sign up for pre-sale access. Pre-sale tickets go live on Monday the 9th of October. Common Ground will also be the first album we've self-released in North America, believe it or not. Uh, so uh, to give you, many of you as many of you the chance to get your hands on a copy, we're including the CD with every ticket bought on Ticketmaster for the forthcoming US and ca ca Canada tour. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for info on how you can grab yours. No excuses then for not knowing the words when you see us on the road. <laughs> I don't know the words. <laughs> I can't wait to see all you somewhere around the world in the next few months. I think that's enough post-set chat from us. Parvo's conversation with Jeff and Jason is coming up in a few minutes. But now, now let's get back to the music. This is Jason Ross and Seven Lions.
one of group therapy 250 is nearly at close. So I popped here to the deck of Abroska Center for the final time. The crowd in the amphitheater is going absolutely wild for Seven Lions and Jason Ross behind me. And earlier today, I caught up with the boys. And this is what they said. Is this gonna be your first back-to-back -back set? Um, and, uh, and if so, how's it gonna work? <laughs> Two different styles. Was Higher Love a little bit of an example of how it might work? What, what can we expect? Uh, we've been going back and forth, practicing quite a bit and talking mm -hmm. about it for a while. Um, it's my first back-to-back -back and I don't really use CDJs either. I use tractors, so this, this will be interesting for me. Yeah, there's a, a lot of preparation that kind of went into the set, but um, I think we're as ready as we're, we're gonna be. Lots of, uh, lots of tempo shifts and uh, yeah, it'll be really good. I can't wait. The extended version of that interview will be online later in the week as will all the sets from tonight's broadcast. Our two-hour set will be on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer or whatever your streaming service of choice is this Friday. So do make sure to set a reminder for that. But let's head back to the music now, live on stage. This is Seven Lions and Jason Ross.
happy 250 with Above and Beyond. Uh, so we're getting to the end of tonight's broadcast, but Tony and I have got a final bundle of messages to blast through. Uh, Winston in Cape Town says he's extremely excited for Common Ground. What a way to announce an album. Uh, Rakesh says the set and Common Ground announcement was incredible and he can't wait for the album. Grizz from Utah says Seven Lions Free Soul has got a right in the feels as well. Emma from Arizona says this has by far been the best ABGT so far and she can't wait to watch it all back. I can't wait to watch it all back either. <laughs> uh, Shinzo from Tokyo says the live stream looked incredible tonight. And finally, Graham from Aberdeen wants to mention for all of the Scottish and Juna family at his live stream party tonight, for whom I'm wearing these trousers. Huge thanks to everybody that's tweeted along with tonight's show. You are the beating heart of this radio show every week. Let's get back to the main stage. <laughs>
say something for nothing. If you want time to go very quickly, put on a festival. Because <laughs> it feels like five minutes ago we just started this There's thing. another day. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it certainly has flown by. And an amazing ending to tonight's show from uh, Seven Lions and Jason Ross, I think. We really didn't know quite what to expect from them, but uh, they've certainly delivered. A new collab in the set as well, which was uh, great to hear. Yep, it certainly has been an amazing night of wonderful new music. Fingers crossed, wherever you are in the world, you've had a chance to have a bit of a dance. I know we have all night. Huge thanks to Luttrell, Yotto, Oliver Smith, Angenix and Sunny Lax for so many hours of awesome music tonight. They're certainly some of the brightest stars in our Anjuna constellation and all have massively bright futures ahead of you. Certainly, and a few more thank yous to us. Uh, I think this list gets longer every year, <laughs> so we'll try and rattle through it. Uh, thanks to our lighting and touring team of Seamus, Neil, Dave, Sam, Simon, Frankie and Craig, and all the production guys who have uh, worked all week getting this venue ready. It really is a massive job. And uh, thanks also to USC and Live Nation for bringing us here and being able to make this whole thing possible. Also to our management agents and Juna family uh, who've gathered around the studio and have flown in from all over the world. Another crazy year has passed, but a lot to look forward to in the next few months, including our brand new artist album, Common Ground. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a long <laughs> list of, uh, yeah, some, got a of some difficult here. names. Massive thanks as ever to our radio and video dream team of Hans, Arno, Raymond, Dion, Bryant, Jeff, Lars, Robin, Kira, Juliana, Jim, Kirsten, Hust, Tim, Guido, Martha, Emily, Carrie, Keith, Kristen, John, Robert, Constantine, and all of our friends at Namobo have made this show look so good for you at home. And of course, a massive thank you to our friends at Twitter and T-Mobile, who've made a big part in the stream tonight. Yeah, it seems every year this team just gets bigger and bigger, but I'm so proud of everybody who's made this possible because yeah if you ever try putting on a festival it ain't easy <laughs> but so, normally yeah. at this point in the show we say <coughs> we'll see you on friday for abgt 251 but not this year we'll see you tomorrow for part two of our group therapy weekender brought to you by anjuna d We'll be broadcasting from mid midday local time tomorrow with sets from Moon Boots, Elian Fur, 16 Bit Lolitas, James Grant, and Jody Wistanov, amongst others. Keep an eye on the dance floor because that's where I'm heading to relax in the afternoon. Are you going to wear a hat? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Enjoy uh, tomorrow's deep day. We'll hit the stage in a few minutes' time, but uh, now here's the final few minutes of Jason Ross and Seven Lions. Woo!